several people rescued. 20 units displaced by this condo fire. News 6 was first on the scene when it started near Lake Mary. Good afternoon. Thanks for being with us. I'm Bridget Ellison. And I'm Kirsten O'Connor in for Justin Warmoth. News 6's Mark Lehman talked to survivors who grabbed what they could and rushed to warn neighbors. Considering the sheer size of this fire and how much damage was left behind, it's really quite remarkable. Everyone was able to make it out of this building safely. Still, though, dozens have been forced from their homes. And right now, investigators are trying to figure out how this fire started. Flames shooting through the roof, lighting up the early morning sky, while people living at the Regency Park condos were sent running for their lives. I see nothing but smoke. I couldn't see more than maybe five feet in front of me. Taj Nahal says he quickly grabbed what he could, banging on the doors of his neighbors as the fire quickly spread. So I knew it's going to go, it's going to go real quick. You know, it's just a matter of time. So just go. Firefighters say some residents had to be rescued from a stairwell, but every one of the roughly 50 people escaped without injury. A few cats and a snake were also saved. So then when they brought him out, I was just like, okay. I was like, we're good now. I'm fine. I was like, it's good. After the fire was put out, this is what the inside of one condo looked like. At least eight units were damaged in the fire that remains under investigation. Thank our blessings. You know, I have everybody safe that I I have in the house. Everything else can just be rebuilt. So here's what's happening today. State investigators are taking a closer look at the damage to pinpoint exactly where this fire started and also how it started. Meanwhile, we're told the Red Cross has been called out here to assist anyone who's been affected by the fire. For now in Lake Mary, Mark Lehman getting results. News 6.